The triangle inequality of modulus of complex number states that if we have a two complex number Z and W, let's say, all right, uh, Z and W, Z is let's say A plus IB and it is C plus ID, then this triangle inequality of modulus of com complex number states that uh, the individual sum of the absolute value of the two complex number is always greater than or equals to the absolute value of the sum of those complex numbers, right? Let me tell you once again, the individual sum of the absolute value of the two complex number is always greater than or equals to the absolute value of the sum of those two complex numbers, all right? So let's examine how it is, whether it is true or not, okay? So here we have Z, absolute value of Z, that is A square plus B square uh, under root and uh, absolute value of W is C square plus D square all right and is greater than or equals to z plus w plus z plus w if you do you'll get a plus c and plus i times b plus d you'll get all right and we need to find out the absolute value of that it's absolute value sign all right maybe it's very bad <laughs> i'm sorry uh it's a square plus b square inside the root plus c square plus d square inside the root is greater than or equals to now a plus c whole square plus b plus d all square inside the root all right we find out the actual value of this complex number also now let's square both side if we square both side we can apply here a plus b whole square formula so it will be a square plus 2 a b plus b square right that's d square and is equals to or le uh, less than or equals to uh, again this one that is simply a plus c whole square plus b plus d whole square now root has been removed from left hand side right hand side also so i think uh, further we need to uh, write this a square plus b square let me write this c square plus d square and now 2 a square plus b square inside the root c square plus d square inside the root is greater than or equals to uh, a plus C, B plus C. So again, let's apply the formula of A plus B, A plus C whole square. So it will be A square plus 2AC plus C square. And here also B square plus 2BD plus D square. So now look at here. Few thing is being cancelled. A square, B square, C square, D square. This all four. And A square, C square, B square, D square will cancel up. And now we'll get here. Next thing after cancelling, you'll get this two. Okay, let's first take common, right? It's two a square plus b square inside the root c square plus d square is greater than or equals to uh, two bd two ac. So I'm taking two common and it will be ac plus bd. All right, and this two and this two will cancel up. And after cancelling the two, what I'm doing, I'm going to square both sides now. I square here. I squared here so it will be now a square plus b square times c square plus d square is greater than or equals to uh, squaring this it will be a square c square plus 2 a c b d plus b square d square all right and uh, so now let's multiply this a square will plus c square so it will be a square c square a square multiplied d square so it will be a square b square and now again uh, this uh, b b will multiply c square so it will be b square c square and b will multiply now d square so it will be b square d square is less than or equals to again the whole thing a square c square 2 a b c d plus b square d square okay a square c square a square c square b square d square b square d square will cancel out and now see here we have here a d whole square plus b c whole square and here we have uh, this plus will come this side so it will be 2 and a d and uh, we can definitely do b c all right that is 2 a b c d is greater than equals to here is nothing that will be left 0 and now my dear friend what is this a square plus b square minus 2 a b that's the formula of a minus b whole square and my dear friend square 
of anything whether it is negative number or positive number that is always and always greater than 0 or equals to 0 which is 100% true so if this is very very true then definitely the first condition that I had written here is also 100% true so simply what I will say the triangle inequality uh, of modulus of complex number states that the sum of the product of the absolute value of the com two complex number is greater than or equals to always greater than or equals to the absolute value of the sum of the two complex number i hope you understand if there's any confusion please feel free to comment below this video and uh, we'll do later practice of these uh, this type of uh, concepts we learned and that will clear your doubts more and more in later videos all right so keep watching on please like the video and subscribe to the channel i'll get back to you next video Bye bye